hi and welcome back to my channel thanks for stopping by so for today's spread I wanted to incorporate a ruffle of a blouse that I had just decluttered um, and I really like that blouse but I just don't think that I'm gonna wear it anymore so I decided to just cut some of the ruffles off and the buttons and try to use them in this spread and I just also decided to go with some pastel colors again as I'm still really into them so let's see what I come up with so um, here off camera I just um, sewed the ruffles onto that cardstock and for the left hand side I'm gonna do the same with um, a smaller piece especially because I wanted to cover up those staples from the back side and then I also decide to add some of the buttons. So I was um, decluttering and I've been actually pretty good, especially with my clothes. Uh, about one and a half years ago, I decluttered with the um, method of KonMari um, from Marie Kondo. And um, I really actually enjoyed it. it was a lot of work but I enjoyed the way that she does it she's very radical and um, I, I went I think through all of everything in my flat and I really got rid of so so many things and I felt so good about it it, it was I don't know if you've never tried it um, check her out she has uh, there are several videos with her and about her uh, on YouTube and also there's the she has this book called uh, the art of tidying up which is also an audiobook on YouTube for free and so I've been listening to this um, again recently and I'm about halfway through and it just motivated me again to go through my things and um, even though I think in the meantime I really don't have that many clothes anymore um, I still managed to find um, pieces that I'm not going to wear again and uh, I can get rid of and it's just such a liberating feeling and I just went through some of my drawers and got rid of some stuff and made my hubby go through his drawers. Um, he got rid of quite a bit so it's just a really really good feeling so I encourage you to, to look at her videos and I'm sure they will inspire you to go through your stuff. So anyway, getting back to the video. Um, so here I'm just um, sewing on the second button to that ruffle. And um, then in the back, rather than just tying it, I just decide to um, tape it on, which is just very quick and easy and it doesn't leave a bump on the back. And then I find this um, children's book because I just thought a children's book theme would go very well with these colors. So I um, found this cute image of a girl with a goose and I just tear her out and I try to place her on the left side and I wasn't quite sure how that's gonna work and also I managed to tear off the beak of the poor little goose so I had to find a way to kind of hide that and then I decided I also want the other geese that were on that page and I wanted to incorporate them in the, on the page somehow and so I just put them there on the right and I kind of wanted some more background and I wanted to add some more of this cute uh, cardstock and I fiddled around with it and somehow it just wasn't working so I tried some music paper, so I cut that down a bit and just tore that off and just tried to see how that would look and I did like that as a background much better. And then I do the same thing on the left side and I wasn't quite sure how to do it and everything was quite full and I just wasn't happy because everything was on the bottom and it just made the bottom so heavy and then I kept just moving it around back and forth cutting things down trying to make it all fit but somehow it just wasn't working 
So then I decided to try to put the geese up on top and I kind of like that better. So I just tore that background piece on both sides down a little bit to give me some more lighting space and finally I'm happy with that and I decided to glue it down. And then for the, oh no, wait, no, 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 I'm not ready. So after that, I go through my stash of stamps because if you've watched a few of these videos, you know how much I love my stamping. And I find some really cute um, stamps. Uh, you'll see them in a second, with ha which have some really cute like mushrooms and little insects and butterflies on them. And I just thought they would fit the page really well. Um, yeah, so here you see them. And I end up choosing, I think, four of these for the bottom. And I stamp them there. And as cute as these stamps are, and I really love them, I think in retrospect that it was just way too much for the page because it was already quite full. And I don't know why I thought it needed more. I think I just wanted a, an excuse to use these cute stamps, which did fit the motive, but it was just way too much now looking at it. And I did like um, the butterflies that I put up, up there on the left hand corner. Those, those are fine, but I should have just left the bottom ones out. In any case, um, I then took my Recollections clickable stamps and just took the letters SEP and stamped down today's date, which is September 9th. And then for the journal entry, I decided to Google the, um, the key to happiness. And I, I was going through some websites and I found um, some definition uh, basically to stay in the here and now. And I kind of like that, so I just put that down. So that's it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.